Okay, so how does fat work? In order to understand that, we really need to see how fat is created. And the way it starts is like this. Up until puberty, your body has a fat-making machine that will produce actual fat cells. Brand new cells are being created. It'll then go to your genetic boss and say, hey boss, where should I go? In some people, it goes to the outer legs, the love handles, inner legs, or the muffin top, which we all hate. Now, at the end of puberty, that machine will completely shut off. Factory is closed. So now when you gain or lose weight, the fat cell actually does what we're doing. And that is that it gains weight or loses weight. So it gets bigger or it gets smaller. It doesn't disappear and come back. So the number of cells always stays the same. So now what you see is whenever you gain weight, there's a particular area in your body that you always notice at first, whether it's the outer legs, the inner legs, whether it's your waist, wherever it is. And then this is the place where you never see it go away. Yes, it shrinks and it gets smaller, but it never really goes away. It always remains fuller. And that's because you have a distribution of fat issue, meaning that your genetics put more cells in that particular area and you will never ever be able to get rid of them. Liposuction is really about reshifting fat. It's about distributing your fat in a much better place so that now we can create natural, more beautiful results. So that's why almost anybody is a candidate for this procedure because I'll take women that are full figured and what I'm doing is creating shape, creating contour and waistlines. And so it's about reshaping them, not about getting them to lose weight. But now, if I do reshape them, they gain or lose weight, they always maintain a sexier, prettier look. So another common question that I get is, well, what happens to my fat after you suction it out? What will happen to my body? Will it grow in other parts? Will I get bigger arms, bigger legs? Well, now we can understand that fat doesn't come and go. The fat cells don't disappear and then reappear. They just get bigger or smaller. But what I've done with surgery is that I've rechanged your fat distribution so that now when you gain or lose weight, you're right, you're not gonna see it as much in the waistline, but you may see it now wherever you have more cells. That could be your arms, your legs, because we did not touch that area. I mean, these cells can't grow back unless you get morbidly obese. That reopens the factory, and now is a whole different story, but that's not gonna happen. So the common question is, what happens when I gain or lose weight? Now, I always chuckle at that because I hope we're not planning on gaining weight already, but. Uh, if, if you did gain the weight, you're just going to see it in areas that you didn't do liposuction in or wherever you have more fat cells. And so that's how fat distribution works.